Hello and welcome to the Easy Peasy Music Theory course for kids. I'm Miss Christine. We have more learning to do, so let's get to our next lesson. All right, so now let's welcome you back. Here we are at another lesson, lesson number seven. Yes, you are moving along. And today we're going to talk about space notes on the treble clef. So let's learn today. Now, we should remember the line notes of the treble clef. Remember that we talked, remember we talked about the line notes of the treble clef. The treble clef is here. And that is our big indicator. The clef gives us the understanding of what the pitch will be. And what are the line notes of the treble clef? Well, you should remember E for every, G for good, B for boy, and D for does, F for fine. Every good boy does fine. Every good burger deserves fries. Whatever sentence you came up with, that's what you have to remember for our line notes for the treble clef. All right, that was a quick review. So today we're going to learn all about space notes. Space notes. And notes are placed on the spaces of the staff. And you can see our note here, both of our notes are sitting between the lines, but it's on the space, all right? And if it helps, remember how we had our line note? Well, if we wanted to turn it into a space note, let me see your space note. Yeah, all right, good. So that's our space note. And look at here, look at here. We have a space note, a great demonstration so that you can see how the space note sits very comfortably between the two lines. It almost kind of looks like a hamburger. If this was the bottom bun and the top bun, I don't know, just having some fun. And the space notes, as I mentioned already, sits on the space. It's right here in the middle of the, of the uh, fourth space. No line going through it. It's just a nice little space note, okay? And you can look at all of our other space notes and see that they're sitting um, right on the space, right in the space. All right, let's learn some more. So as a reminder, when the pitch or the note is at the bottom space, so if we were in the first space, that would be space one, it's going to be low. And if we go up to space two, it's going to get a little higher. And if we get to space three, right, it's going to get higher. And then finally, when we get to the fourth space, that's correct. It's going to be even higher, okay? So let's go low and then to high. Low, high, all right? So here we have our first space note. It's in the first space. The pitch would be low. And this note, because we have our treble clef here, this is our friend here, he or she, tells us, this symbol tells us that this space note is note F because the clef indicates the pitch. And the next space note we have is note A. And look how it's getting higher. And then the next note we have is C. Good. And then the next note we have is E. And if we were to put this together, what would we spell? That's correct. A little face. Look at this little cute girl here. Her face, right? F-A-C-E spells face. And that's as simple as it gets, all right? F-A-C-E. So let's learn some more. All right, so we're going to now review the space notes. Let's review. All right, so our job is to drag the notes to their proper place on the staff. Now, you already know that if we're at the bottom part of the staff, meaning the first space, the pitch would be what? Low. And if we're at the top, meaning the fourth space, the pitch would be high. <laughs> All right, so first space is F. 
break because we learned the, the spaces of the treble clef. The treble clef is here, so we know that this space note is Yahoo! F. Yahoo! Good job! And now the second space we know, A. That is correct. A. F. A. Because we knew we had to spell face. Yippee! Yippee. Oh, I love these sound effects. All right, and the third space we have is note C. Yes, C. So we're gonna drag our C right in that third space. Ding, 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 ding. I love it, you are correct. And finally, the fourth space is E, right? Have a little fun with you. E, note E, and it is on the fourth space. So look at these beautiful notes sitting nicely in the space, space notes. Okay, so let's continue, all right? So now we're going to put it all together. We have our line and space notes review. So we're gonna put this together and let's see what you remember. You have to remember the line notes and now you have to remember the space notes. Oh my, space notes, oh my, line notes, oh my, but you can do it. So our first note, when we look at the bottom of the staff, the first line, we know it's a line note and we have our treble clef and so that must be note E, E for every. And that's where we would drag our E. Good job. Now we move up, because we're moving up. The pitch is gonna get higher. And we have a space note, some kind of note that has to go there. And there is our treble clef. And what were the space notes of the treble clef? That's right, F, A, C, E. So it's note F. Let's put an F right there. Good work. Yahoo! Yahoo! Do it, girl or boy. All right, so we have our second line, and the note should be, come on, every good G. G for good. All right. And I want you to yeah, notice, baby. oh, yeah. yeah, baby. I want you to notice that you have a line note, a space note. A line note you see that pattern so the next note has to be a space note absolutely you have your clef there you just have to start to think what were the space notes for the treble clef F A E and that's it that's it a second space and put your a there look at it go yippee, yippee. yes celebrate your success all right, so now we have our third line. Don't forget your treble clef. If you ever forget, just look to the left, see what kind of clef you're working with, and then you know what note or space note, I should say line or space note, to play or sing, or in this case, drag up to. So we have our line note, and we have to remember every good boy, B for boy, you betcha. B for boy, cha-ching. All right, and we're gonna slowly move up the staff, and our next note is a space note. What do we have to remember for the treble clefs? Uh, the notes, the space notes of the treble clef are F, A, C, you betcha, put a C right over there. All right, whoa, I love those sound effects. And now we're up to our fourth line, and we have our treble clef. And what do we have to remember? Every good boy does, D for does. And now we have our fourth space, and what do we have to put up there? F, A, C, E, E for excellent, or E for space, F, A, C, E for that fourth space. And finally, we have our fifth line on the treble clef, for the treble clef. And what were the line notes of the treble clef? They were every good boy does fine. Oh, celebrate, celebrate. All right, so you were able to put it all together. Good job and let's learn some more. All right, so what did you learn today? Well, you learned that notes are placed on the spaces of the staff. And what are the space notes of the treble clef? Oh, you bet you're giving a smile. F-A-C-E, love your face. 
right? Face. F-A-C-E. Good job. So let's talk about the homework. Homework for today. Well, you're lost in space. Hopefully you're not lost in space, but we're just talking about space notes, right? And look at all these space notes. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. And your job is to name the space notes. And all you have to remember is once you see that treble clef, the treble clef is driving those notes along, telling you what the pitch will be. And the pitch for, uh, or the space notes for the treble clef are F, A, C, E. So the first one, I'm not even going to tell you because I know how smart you are. That's for your homework. You have to name the space notes. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Have fun and bye for now.